the oh the squeeze went the squeeze. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was good. Uh good to um get around and uh, meet uh, a few kids in the school. Uh yeah, the boys were was real pumped up after that. So it was very happy the boys girl and and you too, no? Because yeah, yeah, everyone was, um, yeah, the boys was happy. Uh, they sang us uh, the Australian National Anthem, which was uh, cool for them. They, um, they uh, practiced really well, so yeah, it was, it was really good. Very special, maybe? The yeah, it was yeah, special for us, you know, uh, them putting in the effort to uh, even learn uh, the Australian Anthem and uh, sing it back to us. Then, uh, yeah, and a couple of the boys went in and uh, did a couple of dance. Yeah, all the boys uh, enjoyed it. Very, very talented. If we had to learn a song in French, we'd be stuffed. So, uh, they're really good, really good. Jason, sorry. Yeah. Well, I guess when, when teams are playing Fiji, the most sort of common thought is to think about how do you defend against the varied attack that they present. But yeah. flipping that around, defensively, what, um, what challenges do they pose to you and our attack? Yeah. Yeah, obviously they're um, they've got a lot of individuals that are you know very talented, very athletic, um, you know some of the best ball carriers in the world. So that's going to be a, a huge challenge for our defence. Um, also, you know they're they I think they've had a, a really good um, block of training leading into this. We're looking at the first game, so they're obviously very match conditioned. They've only lost two games this season, so um, they've beaten Wales, they've beaten some top tier teams, so and beaten England as well. So. Um, huge, um, huge challenge for us um, defensively, especially, and that's one thing we've been working really hard on. Um, you know, the start of this week. So um, again, yeah, th their um, ability to break tackles, um, you know, and contest the breakdown, and then also, um, you know, play off the back of that. Um, bit of Fiji footy off the back of that speed of ball is, um, you know, is second to none. So it's going to be a huge challenge for us. Is their defence any? They've set up any different to preparing than you would against other teams. Uh, not, not, not really. It's probably more the the individual threats um, in regards to the strength of their ball carriers. Um, that's probably the main difference, and you know, probably having a bit of a strategy around trying to minimise um, those guys carrying the ball as often as as they probably normally would. So um, we've obviously Eddie's got a plan around that and we're um, you know helping him um, implement and hopefully we can execute that by um, one getting some good training reps in and two, you know, on the night. So um, yeah, and we'll see how we go. We saw um, Slits doing some boxing training, so does that mean he's not available? Uh, yeah, Slip has been managed. Um, at this stage, so um, I think he's certainly in the picture, but we're not exactly sure how that's going to pan out, um, whether it's this week or next week. So, um, but you know, himself and Pone, they've been doing a lot of um, stuff off field and then sort of um, dropping into training at different stages um, in, with you know what what their injuries allow them to and what the medical team allow them to. So, um, I'm not sure if it'll be this week, but they'll be close. Is, is Taniella Tupo injured? Uh, Taniella's on the sideline at the moment. He's got a bit of a hamstring complaint, but we're just going to monitor him and then we'll just see how he goes um, over the next couple of days. Did he train or not today? Didn't train today, no. no. That's not unusual for Taniella, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> just with a couple of niggles we have in the squad, you know, winning, a winning game like this can be all about sort of security spot in the quarterfinal. How important is it just to kind of secure that future and then can start playing towards the quarters and, you know, throughout the next time? Yeah, it is. Like, uh, and... It's very cliche, but um, all we've got in our mind at the moment is this week um, and the next couple of days and how best we can prepare for that. So, um, yeah, it's, you know, without looking too far, we, we want to get our get our next couple of days right, um, you know, play the best we can. And, and we believe if we, you know, play anywhere, play, you know, near our best, we can we can play as a, as a group, then we're going to be hard to beat. Um, it doesn't mean we're going to win every game. It's But, um, yeah, so we're, we're starting to build a lot of belief and confidence within the group. Um, you know, whilst we haven't had uh, a lot of wins on the board, we're certainly tracking in the right direction in, in the things that we see is important. So, um, yeah, and that's this week's just another step towards that. Hey, Jason, in the first couple of responses, you were speaking a lot about the individual threats that they offer. Are you, are you guys sensing that uh, yeah, we're, we're focusing on both sides of the footy, but there is certainly a heightened awareness around our defence, and um, you know we did a bit of work on it out there today, and we'll continue to do that. But um, yeah, I think it goes without saying playing a 
playing any team your defence is going to be important, but just um, probably narrowing our focus down on on our individual individual tackling and you know getting our line set as best we can as often as we can um, to minimise the threat to their you know like I said earlier their their you know their exceptional ball carriers. Uh, what do you make of Semi? Um, obviously, we've seen a lot of him at a league level as well. But what kind of threat is he? In? Yeah, again, he's he's one of those guys that you know dent the line, and um, they like to play off the back of him, and, and in open space they look for him. So, um, you know, he, he's a huge influence on their team, and um, you know, one of the guys that we're certainly going to have to make sure we're we're doing a good job on. Did you get a bit of a shock when you saw that moment at the end of that game last week? That it was him in the middle of it, and what happened? Uh, no, not really. Like it's um, you know they were they were fighting hard to. To, to win the game, you know. So, and I, and I think that's the new Fiji. Like they, they not only big ball carriers, and they're not very ta not only very talented with the footy, but they play for the 80 minutes. So, whilst they probably didn't play as well as they could have for a period of that second half, I think um, you know they fought to the death and semi catches that footy, and we're um, you know probably having a different conversation about the results. So, um, you know that's that's just where they're at. Did you play him? Uh, no, I don't think I played semi. No. Nah. Nah, I'm starting to get old now. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm starting to like the uh, gap's getting bigger. So it's ten or eleven years now. Yeah. So we um we cheering on PJ against Wales in that game, didn't we? Uh, I was cheering both sides pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I knew uh, if they get the win, they'll they'll come up firing fast. So yeah, I was neutral watching the game, but yeah. Anyone in their team that you were close with or really sort of admire as a player? I uh, played against um, Sammy back in uh, club level, NRL, so yeah, he's a uh, big threat now, so yeah, we're looking forward to this week playing with him. Any banter between uh, the two of you or anyone that has? No, nah, no banter, it's pretty much a uh, uh, rest back, yeah, so yeah. Who do you think got the upper edge in your NRL battles with you and Sammy? We <laughs> liked each other, I would imagine. Yeah, we, uh, we played each other in, uh, in the finals and uh, yeah, we, we got up. We got up in 2017, <laughs> so <laughs> that was good. For, for the players of Fiji and Heritage, is it easier or harder when you play against Fiji? I mean, are they are they cutting you a bit of slack, or are they trying to build you? I was I was actually speaking to uh, Marika about this about their last World Cup and uh, what they're saying. Were they like trying to aim at them, like Fiji and, uh, on Fiji? And uh, he was saying, yeah, they were. Uh, Mentioning stuff to Samu, like belt him, belt him in Fiji. <laughs> and we, I was like, did Samu know? I was like, nah, didn't want to tell Samu about that. But yeah, I think they'll they'll be looking forward to uh, the same uh, same situation this week. So, Tom, I guess um, previous World Cups which you've just watched off TV, you might have formed an idea of what it was like to go to one and to be. Now that you're here, what has surprised you? The most is there anything that you've seen or done in the last week that you just didn't expect? Um, yeah, I guess I guess so. Like, there's there's a few unknowns obviously coming into the World Cup, but we've had a really really strong uh, build up with with our psychs and our leaders, um, and that really prepared us well. You know, the the guys who have been to World Cups before, they got up and spoke. We put uh, slips on the hot seat, and he got in the middle. Centre of attention slips, he, he hated that. So uh, we're asking him heaps of questions and going, you know, what happened here? You know, are there any blues with the boys? Whether it's this, was it that? And, you know, we just covered all bases. And he said, you know, these things are going to come up throughout the, the campaign and that's how we're going to react. So we've done a really good job of sort of knowing what those unknowns are going to be. So when they do come up, um, it'll be uh, it'll be able, able to be addressed. But at the moment, we're in the honeymoon stage. So everyone's happy as Larry. And is there a different? But is there a different feeling when you're on the paddock? Do you like normally just go in and it's like a normal game? Do you feel something different about the World Cup? Yeah, well, like if you asked me, um, obviously I knew there was seventy-five thousand people watching on the weekend. But if you asked me if they were there, I wouldn't have been able to tell you. You know, um, there's a couple of blokes and budgie smugglers. I didn't even see them till after. I would have had a chuckle in the game if I saw that. So um, we just came in. We we're all eyes on Will. Nobody was was looking out. So. As Suli said, Will's such a good leader that um, you know, we're just eyes on him. Everyone's focusing on the job at hand. So, you know, it's just replicating what we're doing on the training pitch, working really hard, and then we're all connected as a team.